First, I would like to thank you for allowing me to speak my piece. And I want to now sincerely apologize for the damage I've caused to our community and the pain I've inflicted. I know no words can fix what I've done. If I could put myself in Jack's place, I would. And I do believe that you, Malia, are responsible for Jack's death. However, I also believe that you are deserving of forgiveness. And I do forgive you, Malia. I forgive you because I know that Jack would forgive you. I also do not believe that you are 100% responsible for Jack's death. There are other individuals who should be held accountable in this horror, including the task force who purchased fentanyl from you and allowed you to continue selling this poison for four days, during which time my son passed away from one of your counterfeit pills. Everything that's been presented, I, I do think that you are remorseful for what, what happened in this case. And then there has been uh, evidence presented that you did not have a very good family situation growing up, you did not have a very good family support structure, and that you did experience uh, childhood trauma and exposure to drugs yourself when you were very young. In terms of the the drug task force aspect of this, I, I mean, I get the argument that she could have been arrested after one buy, but there, there, first of all, there's no guarantee that she would have sat in jail after that one buy, particularly if it was a juvenile case, she might have just been released back into the community. When I consider all of these uh, factors, I do think that a prison sentence is necessary. Like I said, I do think it has to be a long prison sentence as well to highlight the significant nature of, of the offense. Um, I am going to sentence you to what the state's recommending, 10 years of initial confinement plus 10 years of extended supervision. And I'm terribly sorry. There's not a day that goes by that I do not think about what I've done what I could possibly do to restore what I have broken. And I hope sooner than later that the families affected can heal and find peace again. Thank you.